everyone. It's lovely to see you. I hope you're well. Today we're going to have a go at making a paper doily. Or maybe you want to call it a paper snowflake. Now we did used to make these in nurseries a long time ago. I wonder if you can remember how to do it. We definitely need to use scissors, you're right. Well done. So first of all, we need to find some paper. You might have some paper at home, some scrap paper. Scrap paper is absolutely fine. Maybe it's paper that you've drawn on already. That's okay as well. If you don't mind cutting up your picture, that might make it a nice colorful pattern. If you can't find any paper, maybe you could find an old envelope. You could make a paper doily from an old envelope, a big one or a small one. Look, my dog chewed the corner of this one, but we could still use it. So we can always use old envelopes with our learning if we need to. Or you might have some paper, or you might even have some nice coloured paper that you want to use. And we definitely also need oops, a pair of scissors. Now I've got big scissors because I'm a grown up and I've got big hands. So I'm using big scissors, but hopefully you've got some smaller scissors that you can use at home. Remember when we're holding our scissors, but we're not using them to cut, we hold them like this, don't we? We hold them with the metal bit, we put it in our hand and then we're going to be safe. We can't hurt ourselves and we can't hurt anyone else. We never, ever, ever run around with scissors in our hands. And we only cut what we're allowed to cut. Scissors can be really dangerous, so we have to be super careful. So we hold them safely like this when we're carrying them around to a different place or if we're not using them, but they're still in our hands. Okay? So I'm going to show you today how to make a paper doily. So we're going to make our doily or our snowflake. So you might use one of the old envelopes. If you are using an old envelope, I would try and tear off, if it's got a little window like that, I wouldn't use that piece, I'd just use this bit here, okay? And you could just imagine that this is your piece of paper. Okay, so if I was doing it, you could keep your paper this shape, or if you wanted, you could try and make a different shape. So I might fold mine in half, so I'm going to try and make sure that the edges are together and then fold it down there. And then I'm going to cut mine maybe in a bit of a circular shape. Although when I open it up, it might look more like an oval. Oh, I don't need that piece. So I'm going to open up my bit of paper. Oh yeah, it's a bit more like an egg shape, doesn't it? So once you've made your shape, or you can keep it this shape, that's up to you. You then need to fold it in half and then fold it in half again. You could just keep it like that. If you wanted, you could fold it in half again. So I'm gonna try and keep my pointy bit like that. Okay, so you might want to fold it over again. I'm just gonna keep it like that. So I've folded it once and I'm going to fold it over again. Now, when we do our cutting, we need to cut little shapes all out here, but we don't want to cut from here all the way up to here. Otherwise, we'll just chop it in half. We don't want to do that, so we're going to use our scissors very safely, and we're just going to cut little shapes. Look, can you see that tiny little shape that I've cut out? And then I might do a pointy one, so I might do that one up a bit higher and then I might do a little roundy one so I'm going to move my paper round and then another roundy one so I'm going to move my paper round so look can you see those little shapes that I've cut out so I haven't cut all the way to the top of the paper I've just done little shapes now I'm going to do the same along here I'm going to make some shapes along here might do some triangular shapes. 
we go. Oh, they look like shark teeth. Triangle shape. And then if you wanted, you could leave that bit as it is because it's curved. Or you might want to do some shapes along that bit as well. So I might just cut out some curvy shapes. So when you've done that, don't forget, oh, we must use our ruby power to collect up all those little bits of paper, mustn't we? Because we don't want to leave them lying around our house. That will make our house messy. But once we've made cut out all these little shapes all around the edge, then it's the exciting bit. We get to unfold it. Oh, wow, look, can you see those? And then we unfold it again. Oh, wow, look. That looks beautiful. Look at all those different shapes. And all around the edges all wiggly as well. Isn't that beautiful? I wonder if you could have a go at making one of these today. That would be great. Did you enjoy that? Did you remember? Could you remember that that's what we did in nursery? So we have to fold our piece of paper really carefully, use our scissors really carefully, and then we can cut out different patterns, different shapes. And the most exciting bit is when you open it up to see your pattern, to see your snowflake or your doily. Wow, so have a really good time today having a go at doing that. Maybe you could teach someone else in your family how to do it. And I wonder if you could put them up in your house to decorate your house. Maybe put it on your fridge for everyone to see. And they can feel proud and you can feel proud of how good you are at using a pair of scissors. Have fun today, nursery, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.